hi guys it's so good to be back here again thank you so much for tuning in i really appreciate you thank you for your love and your support right here and of course the oba of benin have called on the leadership of the pdp that is the people's democratic party and the all progressive congress apc to emulate no other person but the ex-president good luck jonathan and why has he said this it is very important that you know why he made a reference to uh former uh, uh former president of nigeria uh ex-president good luck jonathan Ibili. yes and uh, he had a lot of reasons why he's telling these two parties to behave like him and Definitely, we all know that uh, even as much as uh, uh, good luck has left uh, being the president, he's still very much involved, kind of, in politics, but yet he's a very gentle man. Even as much as he's gentle in person, as that is the same way, he's also gentle in politics. He does not believe in cheating and also he does not believe in manipulating and, you know, permutating. And that has really helped his name. That is why people actually refer to him a lot when it comes to do well with politics, which is also a very good one from him. Anyway, guys, before we talk uh, much into this, uh, before we get into the details of this report of uh, the Oba of Benin, saying that the leadership of the PDP and APC should be behave like the ex-president uh, guys if you haven't subscribed please do and also give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you get notified anytime we drop a new video okay without further ado let us uh, get into the details of what the oba eware to the oba of benin said to these party leaders okay says about benin or by Ware two has asked leaders of the people's democratic party pdp and all progressive congress apc to emulate ex-president good luck jonathan who congratulated president muhammad buhari after losing the 2015 polls the monarch gave the charge on wednesday during a meeting he had with the leading candidates ahead of the september 19th governorship election in the state PDP candidate and incumbent governor Godwin Obaseki, APC flag bearer, Pastor Osage Ize Iyamu, ex-APC national chairman and former governor of the state, Adam Soshomole, Chief John Odige Oyegu, amongst others, were in attendance. Speaking during the meeting, the revered traditional ruler expressed his displeasure over the attitude of some politicians, and according to the monarch, he is unhappy that the state has been in the news for the wrong reasons. Obai Ware admonished the political actors to avoid heating up the polity, adding that they must put the interest of the state first. The custodian of the Benin culture is shocked that the relationship between Oshomole and Obaseke, which was very close and thought to bring peace and tranquility and progress to the state, has turned sour, bringing bad image to the state. While appealing to the political actors to shit their swords, the king asked them to avoid violence. He therefore demanded an assurance from the politicians that there will be peace before, during, and after the elections. The Oba explained that the move is necessary to ensure that Edo State will not become a laughing stock. Stressing further, the monarch asked the politicians to stop bitter comments capable of heightening tension, reiterating that the Benin throne remains non-partisan as it has always been from time being. After the meeting, the political leaders took turns to assure the traditional ruler that peace will reign in the state. Well, I hope that uh, was actually from the depths of their hearts because of course, uh, you know, they keep pointing fingers at each other and they are causing mayhem for themselves and pointing fingers at each other which is causing more tension in the state which is not good for anyone yes you can remember that adam so shamala was involved in a serious ghastly motor accident that he attributed was uh an assassin attempt on his life and really 
anything could happen anyone could be involved in an accident but you know attributing it to an assassin is a wrong accusation that he is trying to put forward but uh, really if he wants this election to be peaceful i don't think those kind of statements are actually necessary if people have lost their lives in the course of the uh, uh, accident it does not mean that it was an assassination attempt because definitely if it was an assassination attempt it would have been done directly to him and not the convoy that was uh, you know working for him or rather it was even hit the it was a uh, security vehicle that was hit and not even his own vehicle so saying it was an assassination attempt is a wrong accusation so those are some of the things that are causing tension in the state and now that the obai ware too have spoken that they should not arouse any form of tension in the state by you know causing uh, uh pointing fingers to uh each other would also give the state a bad name and that could that the state is not even supposed to be in the news for the wrong reasons but rather for the right reasons so they should actually put themselves to order and ensure that the state is peaceful before during and after the election and i think uh, after the meeting he had with them you can see that they all pledged and made their support known to the uh, or by worry too that they would ensure that the state is peaceful but we hope that they really stay true with what they have said because really it keeps going on and on you can even hear that of Tony Kabaka where he said that uh, the person that wants to rule the state does not even have a child how much more can he rule so many things so many allegations so many uh, defaming words that have been used so far which can cause a lot of enmity for a very long time so really everyone involved in this campaign should be very careful with the kind of words they use because it could cause tension and at the end of the day serious violence in the state where cultists are even using the opportunity to kill and destroy people's property on a daily basis just because an election is forthcoming and we all know that the closer the election the more detention so it is very possible that uh, the, the the violence will increase but it is in the hands of the leaders of each party so they should work closely and ensure that their supporters and members are not violent and no one should be used as a machine machinery for the cause of their violence in the state now that the king have spoken i believe that they will listen to him hopefully that's the so that the election can be safe the election can be peaceful the election can be credible in the eyes of everyone so my people that is it from here you've heard it all you've heard the uh, uh about being spoken and he gave a good example that they should behave like the ex-president good luck jonathan that is a very good example because he even congratulated buhari when buhari took over in 2015 so guys i hope you enjoyed this whatever you have to say about this please drop it in the comment section and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up